During the first part of the day, the jury heard the victim's words. Thanks to text messages, we learned Tammy Blanton was terrified of her ex. She'd had the locks changed and was moving on. Taking her life back is what she told a friend. And this afternoon, we heard from her accused killer. On the fifth and final day of testimony, Joseph Oberhansley spent nearly an hour professing his innocence. He spoke for 10 minutes, not even prompted with questions about the night of the murder, saying he went to Blanton's home, she let him in, and then he noticed there were two black men there. I was catching really bad vibes about the situation because I had never seen them at the house before. One of them picked up the knife, and that's when I saw him stab her. I was scared. I kind of freaked out. And Oberhansley claims he fought one of the men, saying there was a scuffle, which, according to him, explained the bloody knuckles police later noticed. I was knocked unconscious. When I came to, I saw the knife laying there. I grabbed it. I was scared, worried, didn't know if anyone was there. That, according to Oberhansley, was about the time police were knocking at the door, doing a welfare check after Blanton failed to show up to work. He says he put the knife in his pocket and answered the door because, quote, I had nothing to hide. Despite later giving a full confession to police, Oberhansley said on the stand that he had been coerced by a detective. That confession was completely false. He was basically talking me into things because of my head injury. I just started going along with what he said. Prosecutor Jeremy Mall questioned him about that and also why those two men Oberhansley claimed were there would have killed Blanton but left him alone. Oberhansley said he had no clue but told Mall he did care for Tammy Blanton. With both sides having rested, closing arguments are expected in the morning before this case is handed off to the jury. Reporting in Clark County tonight, I'm Lauren Adams, WLKY News.